Well, hello everyone, welcome back guys. Hope you all are doing well. This is Muhammad Badrud Duja and today we are going to solve another lab from cross-site scripting vulnerability module. And this is again our DOM-based XSS lab. So before going further, this little disclaimer as always for you. This video and its content are only for educational and awareness purpose and I do not support any unethical or illegal act. That's been said, if you did not subscribe the channel up to now, please subscribe the channel. Let's see what this lab is all about. So DOM XSS in jQuery selector sync and using a hash change event. Fine. So this lab contains our DOM based cross site scripting vulnerability on the home page and it uses jQuery's dollar selector. Okay, selector function to auto scroll to a given post. Okay, we will see that auto scroll. Okay, uh, whose title is passed via the location dot hash property. Okay, so whatever blog name we are going to provide, it is going to be provided by the location dot hash and it is going to executed in the jQuery selector sync and the web page will be automatically scrolled to that blog post name. Okay, so to solve the lab, deliver an exploit to the victim that calls the print function in their browser. So up to now for uh, proof of concept or for POC, we used alert function, but now in this lab, we are going to use print function. Okay, and we need to deliver that exploit to the victim. Fine. So let's go and we see what this is. So first of all, because it's saying that the cross site scripting vulnerability is on the home page. Okay. Uh, and it uses jQuery selector function. So I'm going to just uh, my Mozilla Firefox and I'm going to inspect that. Okay. And the second thing is uh, it's using location dot hash property. So I'm going to copy this location dot hash and within the inspector. Okay. Within the inspector, I'm going to search for this uh, location dot hash. Okay. So once I click on it and as you can see here, we have this function. This is again a selector jQuery uh, within this. It's saying windows on hash change. This is the function that the lab is talking about hash change event, right? So within this event, it is actually creating a function and within that function, it is creating a variable named as post and within this uh, post variable, it is again defining the jQuery selector. And what it's saying, actually, it's saying uh, from the selection portion or from the selection tag, choose block list. So if we see here, you can see there are selection tags and within the selection tag it's calling blog hyphen list so if we uh, just expand this you can see within this selection tag there is blog list class okay so it's calling from this selection blog list class and within the block list class it is calling heading h2 tag so the expanded section containing the class blog list and within this if we expand further, you can see there are headings, h2 tags, and all these h2 tags containing the blog post name. So if I close this, and if I go here, you can see there is a blog named as grandmas on the net, uh, faking it instacam, and importance of relaxing, all these blog posts are there. So again, inspect, search for location.hash, this is the function, right? And we are looking at within the section tag of class blog list. We are looking at these headers, right? Now, what it's saying, it's saying, okay, choose the header two, heading two tag, which contain uh, document URI component, and then location dot hash. And within location, whatever we are going to uh, provide here, let's say hash. And with after this hash, if we provide any blog name, let's say the blog name uh, grandmas. Okay, just copy that and paste it here. And just scroll. I'm going to 
scroll up this page so you can see the effect now we are on the top of the page and after the hash we are writing grandmas and once we hit enter you can see the page automatically uh, scroll down and it comes to the to that particular block containing the name grandmas okay so this is the functionality which is vulnerable and one more thing uh, whatever you are passing after this hash it is actually uh, coming here with the location dot hash and we will see that in a minute what this location dot hash do uh, but first of all let's see what this function also defined here so if post is there it is going to choose uh, post dot get zero and scroll into the view so scroll into the view this this is the function which is scrolling the page to the particular particular uh, blog post right so let's see what this windows dot location dot hash dot slice one is doing so i'm going to the console and within the console i'm just writing window dot location dot hash okay and semicolon and hit enter so as you can see once i pass this windows dot location dot hash it is going to bring this content and once this content is passed once this content is passed with the slice one what it's doing with the slice one let's see now i'm going to again say window dot location dot hash so when i just put here location dot hash it is giving me the complete string right but what if i say slice and within the slice i'm defining uh, defining let's say one so once we type here one it is going to slice the first character from this string if i say two so you can see hash and g is removed from this string so whenever you pass anything with the hash it is going to remove the hash symbol and just pass this one this grandma's string and pass where pass it here uh, in the scroll into view okay and that is the thing which is scrolling down your web page to that particular string okay so let's go and uh, we try to build the exploit here now we know that this portion is vulnerable to the cross site scripting and especially dom based cross site scripting why because we see the source and the sync the place where you pass uh, or where it gets the content inputted by user and there is a place where that input is executed so that means it is a dom based now let's see um, to just make sure whether we can execute uh, some javascript or not so i'm going to say image source on error uh, sorry on error is equal to print print the page actually and just hit enter let's see and as you can see this script has been executed on this page and we have here the option to print this page fine so cancel that now we will build our exploit on this but the thing is we are not going to execute the uh, execute the script here on the page itself because there is no benefit to exploit yourself okay so uh, the methodology is something like we need to uh, we need to pass this exploit or this malicious script to the victim's browser okay and for this we come here and let's see i'm going to create iframe and within iframe i'm saying source and source is going to be what because we need to send this exploit to the victim browser whenever the victim is uh, let's say going to this 
So, I am going to copy actually this part up to here with the hash because hash is very important ok and within that source I say on load on load whenever this this source loads it is going to go to another source let us say this dot source and instead of a space I am going to put plus equal to and it is going to be see this source and the source is uh, source is let us say image source is equal to 1 or anything and on error it is going to uh, call the print function ok. So, this is closed this iframe is closed uh, no not closed we need to close it ok. So, that is it iframe and the source is going to be this and when this source loads and on load it is going to see another source and the source is defining as the within the image tag and it is calling the source 1 because it will not find this source because this source is invalid it is not going to get this source. So, it will create one error and error is saying to call the print function and then close the iframe. So, back to the lab go to the exploit server and within this exploit server what I am going to do I am going to within the body section going to delete uh, hello world and then paste this. Now, to see whether this is working or not you can store it and after storing that you can view exploit to just see whether uh, it is working or not. So, if it is working within the iframe it is going to call this ok let us see. So, you can see the iframe is there and when it is loading when it is loading this URL this side this page it is again saying on load it is going to call this source and within this source it is going to call print function. So, one more time I want to show you and you need to see whenever this page is loaded here at that instant print function executed. So, back here ok store ok view exploit. So, first of all it is uh, seeing the source and after source on loading this web page it is going to call this function ok. That is it that means it is working fine we just need to uh, deliver this exploit. So, this time I am going to click deliver exploit to the victim and once it is delivered you will see here the lab is solved. So, that is it for this video hope you understand and I am going to see you in the next video bye.